Oi, oi, how's it going? We're back. And uh, yeah, so I started a creative save so I could get nice screenshots. It took me not very long. <laughs> right, so here we are. We're at six hours. So look how much time in that second episode I'd actually wasted. I mean, I think we started at about two hours 50. So we played a good three hours for uh, that second episode. So <clears throat> welcome back everyone. Hope you're still enjoying it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel or if this is the first video of the series you have watched. Don't forget to hit that bell notification as well guys so you get you get the notifications on your phone and it's real annoying and that but it helps. It all really helps. <laughs> Cheers for the support guys. It's always awesome. It's always much appreciated. And don't forget to pop over to my Twitch as well. If you are, uh, if you like watching random people streaming and playing games and talking nonsense, but so the last episode, we got all the money's situation on on the go, and uh, yeah, so the ship's ready to start jumping and stuff. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. I think I'm just going to go stock up on a buttload of oxygen and stuff. So we've got stuff to go about with and. This episode, we're going to be doing the Atlas stuff. We're going to we're going to go through some of the stuff. I mean, I've done probably two or three of the first quests, and that's about it. So a lot of it will be new to me. Um, might not be new to some of you veteran travellers out there, but uh, if you are new to the game, it's definitely going to be new to you. But there's everything we ever need. Look. <laughs> Right, and then we're just gonna gonna whip that into there so I don't take up loads of our space, which we do have quite a lot of space now as well, guys. So it's getting pretty good. We'll have them in there, and uh, that can go to the ship. I don't know why that's not on the ship. We need some launch fuel as well. We we'll make a load of launch fuel, got hydrogen and ferrite dust. Let's get that made as well. Um, I think we can like, I'm pretty sure if we get to hydrogen jelly, we can put it in our backpack and like smash it up. Let's have a look. Oh. Did that give us... What? It gives us condensed carbon. Oh man, seriously, how can we get hydrogen? Don't tell me we're gonna have to actually go onto a planet and farm. Oh, to be fair, we might be able to just buy launch fuel off some, some bezlers. Here comes a Bobby Dazzler. There he is. Oh. Gorgeous little frogman as well, if I must say so myself. <laughs> Sell me launch fuel. Okay. Leave him be. Oh, hello there, young sir. What a lovely ship, if I don't say so myself. Got a launch fuel, mate. What? Can't you buy launch fuel anymore? Probably got enough for like one or two. I've got enough for one. Okay. Right, last last chance for a slow dance with a frog. <laughs> with poppy outy eyes. You must have freak. Okay, it looks like we do have to actually uh, make some fuel. Which is kind of alright, do you know what I mean? It's not like, it's not end of the world sort of stuff. It is still full, so that's good. And, uh... I'm just gonna whack all them in there. Wow, our hyperdrive is full! That is very nice. There we go, that's for that. This is for this. And off we go on our adventures, guys. In No Man's Sky with the desolation update, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Right. Where's this Atlas Majig? Somewhere there. Ok. 
Okay, let's go have a look. I don't know how much I'm going to skip of this, guys, because I mean it might be samey for some of you, but I mean we might we might just play the Atlas Path all the way through and actually show it all. So spoiler alert, guys. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how much of it will get done this episode. Oh, uh. Atlas interface. There's a diamond in space, and it's taking me in. <laughs> Creepy. A crimson eye. going to be saying all sorts of numbers and traveller to me. All sorts of things. It looks pretty nice in here though, don't it? Now, if I remember correctly, there was, I think, I think these, these like orbs down here. Oh, oh. God, there's a floor. I think you can get words off these. I guess I don't remember correctly then. I remember doing something with these before. Nice little stair set. Not necessary, but you know. Oh, you walk over them. Well, I learned the word for Atlas, apparently. Alright, okay, so it's just the one then. <laughs> just, I only know one word. Oh, what's this? A warp cell? Nice. Two warp cells. Nice, it's carrying this, ladies and gentlemen. We didn't have to make all them warp cells. Right, okay, that's... That's not a language I know. Right, okay. Following its path. What is that? Captured nanode. Right, okay. So I guess I've, I've got to make that thing for it. And talk to it again. Oh, strange orb thing. I wanted to talk to it again. But what's... Okay, so I've made it. Can I put it in there or something? Take my gift. Right, so it's, it's stopped my uh, quest log actually following this uh, this path. But once we get out there, we can we can get it back on track. It might say something to us when we get out there. Do you know what I mean? It might be like, oh, you've got to go this way, mate. Oh, the Atlas word for traveller. See, I told you it'd just be calling us Traveller all the time. I've learnt five words. Go me. Getting big brain. Getting big brain, guys. Swelling up a bit, you know. Um, right, so... The Atlas Path. On the next Atlas interface. Okay. We just got to do some warpy warps. We found it. It's over there. Okay. Right. Well, it gave us two warp cells, and like, if I had a scrubby ship, I probably wouldn't make it. But oh wow, that's actually quite a long way. Oh, I can reach it in one jump. <laughs> Get wrecked, game. <laughs> We've prepared for the mission ahead, and it's worked out just just perfectly. Oh, we went to a solar system, and we didn't even go into the space station. Let's go to the space station first. You never quite know what's in there. Out. 
Plus we can pick up a bag slot. P -p -p pick up a bag. What am I backing off? Forwards. Thank you. <laughs> just starts drifting. Who's just drifting? <clears throat> I didn't even look if this was like a wealthy system or not. I mean, we could have a look once we get out of the ship. I feel like I want a smaller ship as well. Unsuccessful. Alright, okay, so... Don't expect there to be anything good here. It's, it, it still could be good, though. See, look, that's still an A-class, so it's not like the worst. I want that. Oh, man, TV face. Pulse engine module. See, we could still get S-class modules and stuff like that, and we still get backspace, so... We ain't got to worry too much about it. It's not end of the world. I think I'm going to go for regulars. Yeah, nice. Very nice. And we're not going to hang about and look at ships. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of time in the future throughout the series to just stop. You know, now we've got this one, we'll just we'll just leave it to chance, really, and just stumble across something nice. That's what I think, anyway. Over to the interface. Just gotta, ooh, just gotta get around there. Oh look, I got a hyper cluster by smashing into it. I say you do it. You don't need guns for farming. Are we upside down here or something? No. Let's actually get rid of that. Give us some more tritium. Oh, dangerous threat. 200,000 units for killing someone. Promoting death there, aren't they? Death and murder. Alright, this is stiff. I don't actually think I've been to this one. Like, this is only the second one, and I'm pretty sure I've never been here. Well, I swear you could pick these things up. Ah, there you go. Nice. Got one of them. We're learning. Sky, yeah. Now we just need to learn no and man's. <laughs> this is going to be a words milestone, isn't it? Oh, my, my brain. It's a two-star brain, ladies and gentlemen. I don't understand how important it is. To learn. Oh man! We are getting fed! Right, so what's this one? The? I got the. Yeah, no, nothing. Waiting for a traveller. Am I somehow chosen? Consent. New product learned. All oh, right, okay. So, as we go, we've got to craft these things every time. Strange, isn't it? I mean, I could get more words, but... We don't want to get too wordy. We we'll give people the wrong idea. Do you know what I mean? Right, so... What was this new thing? That one. Pure ferrite. Oh, we've got to go get some more ferrite dust. I think, yeah. Yeah, we'll get some more and then we'll... Uh, we'll smell it down in the bag. Off to the space station. And look, well, we could go and we could actually... Yeah, let's go down to a planet. Because we don't, we, we don't get to see many planets, do we? Do you know what I mean? I'm killing this guy. I'm telling you now, we're going to go kill this guy. Coming for you, mate. We're bounty hunting.
Yeah, get smashed, mate. Get smashed. I'll protect the stars. Oh, he's got some health, hasn't he? He wasn't very hard, though, was he? Nice. Very nice. Right, um, what's this planet like? Is this, like, an okay planet? Acid planet. Not, f not really feeling it. Oh, look, they're happy with me. TV people are happy with me. Is it just... There should be one over here? That looks better. Temperate. Yeah, that'll be alright. I'm happy with that. Temperate planets sometimes look really nice. But, like, I don't know. Orange grass. Bit weird. A little bit weird. It'd be a really nice planet, though. You don't know till you go have a look. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, it's a massive storm then. <laughs> Could be a really nice plan. Uh, where's the floor? Oh, there. Okay. I'm just gonna we'll scoot about until the storm's over. Don't like it. Don't trust it. Can't see a thing. Ship sounds like it's been smashed. Oh, sort of building there. What is it? Oh, scrubby little containers. Oh, two over here. scrubby little containers. There was one down there. More scrubby little containers. What is going on? Why isn't this storm going? It said storm clearing. It lies. Oh, that's better. You can see. Yeah, it does look pretty cool on here, actually. This isn't actually a bad looking planet. We do just need to land somewhere to uh, get some ferret dust because we're sort of mooching about too much. I mean, I could land anywhere, but I want to land somewhere nice looking. You know what I mean? Oh, maybe down here, look. Miss Valley. Two words there. Right, there we'll do. Let's have a look. Smashed a load of stuff on my way down. Scolding storms. Oh, excellent. Oh, oh what? I can't even farm anything. Right, I got it. Just need some ferret dust. We should really get a better mining tool. Because, like, I need pure ferrite. And I could have just got it instantly from that. Had we have actually gone out of our way and got a tool. Because I could have put the advanced mining laser on it. Because I think I've got the blueprint for it. Right, he's going to go over there. Good. I'll have this one. I thought it said the storm was clearing. It don't seem to be clearing at all, does it? It seems to be getting worse. Um, I'm not sure how much we needed. I think it was a good bit, wasn't it? Like maybe a hundred. hundred pure. Of the purest variety. Yeah, a hundred. Okay. Um. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's just there. Oh, no. I could have... I could have got dihydrogen, I bet. I knew it. 250 as well. Ridiculous. What an idiot. What an absolute idiot. This is all we're going to have, isn't it? Like, me doing stuff and the people who have played No Man's Sky before, the veterans, they're just going to be getting triggered. They're just going to be getting so annoyed at me with, like, things like that. Stupid little things. While we wait for that, we're just going to do a little 
little scanny scan because we can uh, get, get some extra bits and bobs. Do you know what I mean? Scan a rock. Well, not really for the. I'm not doing it for the resources. I'm doing it more for the uh, for the nanites. Makes more sense. Extra little bit of nanites next time we go to the Nexus. Alright, that looks good. How are we doing? Yeah, we're doing lovely. Stop. Right, cool. So, now we can craft this. A parasite? It's got a, light, a space born life form inside it. Well, parts of it. Extra dimensional origins. What the heck? What is even going on? We need to get back on that Atlas path as well. It keeps just taking me there, don't it? Can't I just like. That? Why can't, why can't it just keep me on the same path? Do you know what I mean? It seems weird. Right. Where's the next one? <clears throat> Miles away, I'll bet. That's oh, it's right there. Calm speed running through this, isn't it? Let's go. Did that planet have three moons? That's a disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Imagine that. <laughs> Moons just crashing into each other all the time. Very nice. Let's just go straight in there. And I guess this one's going to say some stuff and then it's going to give us a new recipe. Hopefully it doesn't get to a point where it's something we can't actually craft. Because that would be a bit lame. Well, I suppose if it does and we have to, like, do a big part of the game to unlock the ability to craft something, then I suppose it, you know, it's pretty good and it'll make us do something we've never done before, so... I didn't really mind about it, should I? Getting wordy, guys. And... Reality. Should I collect all of these so I can actually tell what it's saying when it first speaks to me? Is that probably like what, like, the way to do it? Because like these words I'm learning, I'm, I've learned loads. So surely I'll understand a little bit of what it's saying. Yeah, I'll have some more of that. Oh, let's get that done quickly. No, not that. That. You. The. And you. That's, that's all I got out of that. I was born with everything I needed to explore these worlds. Okay. You can see worlds that never were. I see the death cry of a god or something approaching it. What? What? Milestone, Rosetta or above. I don't understand what the milestone thing is. Right, we've got another one. Ionized co cobalt. We can do that. We can do that at a space station. We just need to go buy some coal, cobalt. And then, um, yeah, and then smell it down. Uh, that should be pretty simple. I'll meet you at the space station, guys. All right, here we are. We need 100. I'm going to guess it's two for one. So let's just buy 200. It might not be, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think. And that just starts itself. 
Okay, nice, it is. It's two for one. Okay. For some reason, there's these boxes on my screen as well. I don't know what they... Look at the mini-map, look. I don't know what them boxes are for. Seems weird, doesn't it? Does anyone know what they're actually there for? Summon. Nice. We've, we've nearly done that whole general slot now. Phase me. Oh, we never get a hyperdrive, do we? boxes over there. There's also a planet here, guys, what I want to go check out real quick. Um, that's still doing it. Cool. We'll go check it out while that's doing its thing. It's a bountiful planet. Discovered by someone. Someone else has been here. But it's, um, it's, it's a lot of water. We've just got to find a spot that actually has some land. I think we're good here. Bit of good. Wow, that looks all right, don't it? Look at that: lakes, trees, green. If you're into green, that's not too shabby, is it? You know, some nice hills. It's quite scenic, really, isn't it? Strange mushroom tree. Nice short grass. Oh, look at that, guys. That ain't too bad, is it? This is a nice planet. This is a very mild rain. Sentinels are frequent. Fauna is undetected. Well, that's peculiar. Yeah, look at that, though. Nice. Oh, hi, guys. Little, some little pigeons. Hello. Hello. Oh, I need creature pellets. I thought it was undetected. I just detected it straight away. Nice looking ship. See, this is this is what's going to be nice around, like, on through throughout the playthrough, because we're just going to find like real nice places like this. Do you know what I mean? Like this is a. I mean, it wasn't discovered by us though, so I don't want to make it my home planet because it's someone else's planet. Let's just have a look in the water, shall we? Yeah, that's about as far as I'd really want to go in there. Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not over enthusiastic about being underwater. Some weird things. Oh, jellyfish. But when we do find our home planet, I do want it to have water on it, so we can build like the submarine and stuff, and actually do a bit of that sort of stuff. More birds. Oh, they're like butterfly things, okay. There's a sentinel. Yeah, but this is pretty nice. Let's, um... Let's get up into space. And, uh... Just so we can get the thing for you. The watch my doobries. The portal address, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, seriously? Why? I'm going to talk to him. No, we'll go to... No, I'll fight you. Yeah, well, we'll see. Three of them. 3v1, easy. 
where they are. Yeah, get smashed, mate. Get absolutely smashed. Right, one of your mates is dead. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, he just wiggled. You know, that's that's the best approach to fighting. Just just do circles and try and confuse your confuse your attacker. Was that an exotic ship? Nah, it couldn't have been. Nah, it's not. It's an explore. Why fighting an explorer? Well, I know I'm fighting an explorer, but still. Dead. All flipping dead. Where did that get him? Nowhere. Corvax rep. Gone up. Lovely. Right. So there's the portal address, guys. If you want it in the bottom left of the screen. Very nice planet. Very nice planet indeed. Did the person name it? No. He didn't name it, but he did discover it. Right, so now we should be able to make our thing. Pop that in there. Gonna, oh, gonna craft that. So what's this one? New spheric orb. An atlas capable of resonating on humanoid telepathic frequencies? What? We're making some dodgy stuff here. I'm not, I'm not like... I'm not 100% sure if we should be messing around with this sort of thing. Oh, we just got a warp, have we? I hope we do something other than just walk from station to station because we're going to get through this very quick if we do oh that's a bit further away we can still walk to it in one though <laughs> oh look at this look at this place it's got one planet poor little solar system with one planet watch it be the most amazing watch it be the planet that was on the trailer what no one thinks exists. Full of full of wildlife and all crazy stuff. Undiscovered. Or it could just be skank. Scolding. Yeah, it's horrible. Right, I'm gonna do space station stuff first and actually no, let's do it after because we're gonna have to craft something, aren't we? See? Picking up all these words, increasing my mind capacity. Getting good. Getting good. Does this one look a bit darker than the other one? Like, a bit meaner. I feel like we're doing a bad thing talking to these guys. Yeah, look at that one. That one's all cracked and dodgy. Uh, yeah, what the hell is that? Loads of words. We need to understand what it's saying to us because it could be saying like horrible things to us. Yeah, we're learning words. We get it. We get it. It's doing my lo doing my life support in running around like this, isn't it? Do you like how every time I go to press X, I press C? It's really weird, isn't it? If I was playing any other game, I'd just press C. Or X, you know what I mean? But on this, for some reason, I can't never remember which one's which. Also, not everyone gives you a word. That lit up when we walked on it. Oh, where's our warp cells? Don't be stingy. No, oh, this one's not a nice one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, B? Is? You are? Alright, oh, okay. <laughs> hmm.
dark matter. We're making dark matter. Alright, okay. Let's dodge. Oh, we need some... Oh, we can get straight on that. What did it say? Just five. I think it just said five, didn't it? Yeah, nice. We've got a dark matter. From the collapse state of the last universe. Toxic if ingested. <laughs> Toxic if ingested. Oh my days, what a thing to say about a piece of dark matter. Who who would look at it and go, I want to fucking eat that? How does it taste? So bizarre. Alright, so this will be another another quick jump then. Gotta get out of there. Search for the next one. Racing through them now, guys. Yeah, I can make that. I'm really surprised it ain't just like throwing us throwing it out there somewhere was like harder to reach, do you know what I mean? Not just like one quick jump. Like maybe the opposite side of the universe or something, so we have to find a way to get across there. For a black hole or something. Mind slowing down for nobody. Whoa, 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 whoa. We made it. And we picked up some silver. The heck is this one? What are them black dots? Oh, they're people. Oh, do you think it's like a Gek, a Corvax, and a Viking? Let's just see if we can get some words. Two. I'll give us like an interesting word, like, you know, whether or not it's going to kill us. That's our wordy stuff. There. Oh, I think, I think I'm right. I guessed because one one of them looked sure and one of them looked like he had no neck. Gek, Corvax, the Viking. Whoa. What are they doing up there? When I dream, I see the Atlas. When I see the Atlas, I am the dream. Oh, okay. Alright, okay. I've become the harbinger, the pathfinder, the seeker of ways. Through me, the universe will know itself. Dawn's End. Oh, I can already make that. Get in. Still don't understand why I'm making these things. So, I don't even know what it is. Or why I've just made it. Let there be light. Oh, this one don't light up. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, okay, they just pick and choose which ones work. You have learnt the word for sausage. Oh, this. Sausage would have been better. Right, so I guess I'm just going to warp, warp to the next one. I mean, how many is there? How long does this go on for? I feel like we should do all of this in this one episode, so this might be a very long episode, guys. We don't even have to bring the quest up. It'll just show us it anyway, won't it? 
Yeah, it's only like... It's sort of telling us to do two jumps though. Is that because it's like a hundred away? Oh, two hundred. Three hundred. I can make it though. I've got, I've got good hyperdrives. My hyperdrives are above par for the game, apparently. I mean, how much how much fuel have we got left, though? Let's have a look. Wow, we haven't even used half. Postman just put a letter through the door and my dog barked. Such a typical scenario. Wish dogs would be more creative sometimes. <laughs> a postman put a letter through the door and the dog did a backflip into a handstand. Be much more interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> Get that on YouTube. <clears throat> oh, okay. We're, we're back to the uh, the original orb. I'm going to bother getting them words. Oh, I got one anyway. How did I even get one? Does it just give you the words anyway? If you like just stand still. I don't know. Hello, orb. I'm back. Yeah, I can't understand you. Oh, okay. I have rejected the call of the stars. Oh, only the Atlas matters now. Oh, is this little, is this, is it this little orb was talking to us or something? With each encounter, I feel like I understand a little more. I feel like I've understood nothing so far. Evil arrives in the individual and goodness is not enough. What? Milestone, dawn or above? Oh, did we not make that thing? Dawn's End. Uh, what? Milestones. Next milestone, dawn in one milestone. Oh, so we've actually got to do stuff to be able to... Oh, right, okay. Maybe if I get some... So each milestone we hit will let us continue further on the path. Oh, this could get really difficult, guys. Because we haven't really done much, have we? Like, learning words might get us there. Or me talking to aliens could get us there. Or just walking in general. Or making money. Right, okay. So there is some sort of system what will make us do other things before we can... Uh, the word for do. Before we can continue or even complete this Atlas path. Eyes. There we go. Nice. Run back round and then we should be good. Oh, it's free in a row. Oh, I might as well get all these. It will help us towards the next one, won't it? We've just got to find milestones what are going to be easy to achieve, haven't we? And get through it. Well, I guess we're not going to do it all this episode. Unless it is a really, really long episode. <laughs> a three hour episode. Yeah. Right, okay. Right, and I can craft that already. So strange. 
Oh, okay. By unknown means. So our next milestone, shall we have a look? Curiosity in five milestones. Right, okay. Meet aliens, yeah. We could do that. Destroy sentinels, easy. So we've got to, we've got to find other things to do now, guys. So I guess I'm just gonna go onto the space station, talk to a load of load of guys, get the meet aliens one done, maybe. I think that's a good plan, and then just go on a planet and kill sentinels and scan stuff, maybe. I don't know. Well, we're currently on this planet, and I'm just like killing sentinels. I've just made the bolt caster attachment for the uh, for the multi tool, so I can actually shoot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty chill. Killing these sentinels actually, like they don't put up much of a fight with this. With the mining laser, it's pretty pretty cr like rough fight, but uh, with this, it's quite nice. Oh no, not Elite Sentinel Force. Oh, he's like right over that hill, is he? Okay. Oh, there he is. Look at that. That hurt. Okay, that hurts a lot. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Right, okay. Um, let's see. Let's see how far we've got into this milestone. One milestone. One milestone. Right, okay. So, meet five aliens. Destroy two ships. Destroy five more sent... Four more sentinels. That's not actually that bad. Or warp two times. Look, discover all species on a planet. That's quite a, quite a big one. It's, it's got to be more stuff than just that, isn't there? No, maybe not. Right, well, I guess I'll just warp sometimes. You know what I mean? That's going to be a lot easier. If we just have a random warp and then uh, we can go in space station. We can talk to five people. Job's good. And... Oh, Jesus. No. Like, they're on to me now. Nah. Oh, this don't even get rid of them, does it? I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Oh, what was the milestone there? Oh, <laughs> it's just catching up. Right, we're good. We're good. We need to get into space. Have a warp some a jig. Should show. We may as well go to where the next Atlas thing is. Unless we jump to the halfway point, because then we'd have to jump again. So that's getting our two warps out of the way. Yeah, let's do that. But let's not jump to let's not jump to that one. Let's find a rich one. A wealthy system. And we've got any wealthies around here. There we go. Let's go check this out and then we can uh, walk to the Atlas one after this and then that'll definitely be more than enough. I don't know how many we're going to need for the next one though. So this might be the last one for this episode. Because I'm going to have to farm milestones for the next thing. I wonder if we have to complete... A hey, up. Okay. okay. We'll have the old freighter battle, shall we? Oh, look at that freighter. That's a huge one. Cool. I wouldn't mind if that was S-Class. One down. A few to go. We're over here. Why did why is it taking me all the way over here? Well they're squishy, aren't they? Squishy little scrubs. Oh, he's like already on my tail. 
Whoa. Don't want to accidentally hit the frigates. The frigantines. <laughs> oh, he's over there, is he? It better be that big one in the front. That's nice. He didn't die. Oh, he did die. We're coming. We're coming to save you. Oh, he's just gone right past me. How can the... The beams coming off the freighter not actually do more damage than my guns on this little explorer. Do you know what I mean? Seems a bit sus. It's got to be that one, hasn't it? Got to be. It is. Nice. Well, this is a big boy ship. I don't like the two poles that are in the way of the front bit though, it's a bit weird, isn't it? But I do like the ship itself. It's pretty good. I don't know if I'll definitely get it though guys, let's be fair, like if it's a, if it's got like no slots and it's a rubbish class then there's no point is there, but we'll go have a look. We'll do it the we'll do it the old way. Got to get that got to get that milestone journey at the uh, Milestone accomplishment for walking really far, aren't we? You know what I mean? Oh, it went right laggy going through there. <coughs> Hello, Mr. TV Face. How are you today? Oh, it's an A class. Oh, wow, that's got a lot of slots as well. 34 slots. It's worth 140 million. I think we'll have this, guys. Yeah, there you go. Got a freighter. Nice. That's not bad. Like, usually, it's like... The one I usually get will be like a, a B class, and it'll have like... 19 slots or something, but this This is all right. This is a big one We never end up doing any freightery stuff though look at that though big old boy All right cool But we originally came here to just talk to some aliens So off to the space station we go what? Yeah, let's do it. So what I'm doing here, guys, I've just had a cracking idea. Like as I talk to aliens, I can I can just I can just tell them to make like learn me words, learn me all your words, and then I'm doing two birds one stone. Ah, oh, look at this. Yeah, I want to know a uh, mystery. The, the, the word the is a mystery word. I'm going to practice my language with him. Trade. He's not happy. Oh, it did give me something though. Welding soap, eh? I want to know, um, Gek symbol. First. Is it first? Is it last? Oh, okay. He don't want to talk to me. Friendship. Oh, nice. How lovely. Travel. He was happy with himself. And this is probably the last one. It's got to be a milestone, surely. I want, um, aggression. Death. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. 
No milestone there? There we go. Lovely. Make 20 aliens. Go doing a lot of alien meeting by the looks of things. Right. Now we just pop to this system above us. Bang. Get in that. Get in that diamond in the sky. There we go. 25 warps as well. We are all good. Did we make the thing for this place? We did. Right, okay. I managed to pick up one S-Class hyperdrive module. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna start saving them for my uh for what will be my my like my favourite ship. Because we'll probably buy one that's already like A or S class if we can. Cause this one we just wanted the a little bit better hyperdrive and the uh capacity what came with it more than anything. Get some of these words. Yet. Why do our life systems always seem to run out when we're here? The word for ah. <laughs> no, that's not a word, that's a letter. Clean that. Getting wordy. Fail, okay. Oh, no, not all of them give you words, do they? Weird. Wow, there's so many the other side. Must. You must fail. Open. Nice. Well, that'll do. Quite a lot. Du, du, du. I'm afraid that I've seen too much. Right, okay. I see the birth of the first star. What? Right, okay. Strange. Cadium? Oh no, we need to upgrade this to get a... We're going to need to go to a different type of solar system to get cadium, aren't we? I think we do. And what, um... So we'll need... Oh, I'm in the wrong place. We we'll need the next milestone as well. In one milestone. Nice! Right, okay. Kill two ships. Four sentinels. They're both quite easy. Five more. Oh, no, that ain't five more words. That's loads more words. That's like 25 more words. Eight more aliens. Walk for a while. Right, okay. That's not too bad. Well, since we need to get... Let me just... I'm just going to go to the space station and make sure... Um, make sure it is what I think it is. Because I think we need to go to... A different type of system. Because... Oh, look. That's a nice planet. And... Yeah, because there's like different coloured systems. So like you need like a indium drive or whatever it is. Iridium drive, I can't remember which one it is. And then a cadmium drive, things like that. Emerald drive to be able to even warp to them. So we might have to upgrade this ship with the designated coloured drives. Just to... Uh... No, we're not doing that again. We do need to kill two ships though. So we might get something really expensive on us just to, like, bait some pirates. Oh, I don't know if we can... Yeah, I'm not... 
Not too sure. I've got an idea how we can. I oh, know. Yeah. I'm gonna be a bit. I'll figure out what's what. That's a scrub. I'm still. I'm still just checking all these things, guys. Like every time I get anywhere, I check everything. Oh <gasps> yes. I need one more alarm. We've got four left and we're done on that. That is very nice. Um, well, I'll meet some aliens while I'm here as well, so I might do that real quick in a second. But I'm sure... Terminal sells the first one. No, it doesn't. Right, we'll do this alien meeting in a minute. I'm going to pop to the Nexus and have a look there, because that will that'll tell us exactly what we're looking for. Because if we're going to do that, then we'll do it next... Oh, good. We'll do that next episode, and then we can get all three of them done. Do you know what I mean? And we can go look at the exotic systems. Four? Five? Flipping five of them? Where's my backup? It's like right next to the space station. I should get backup. It's not like I need it really though, is it? Grueling combat going on here. <laughs> Look at that. Ah, uh, he shoots me. I shoot him back. Right, nice. Well, that's a milestone accomplished. Right. I could actually quickly look in the map. Right, so... Yeah, we know. We know. We're not coming here for that. Give us a second. Oh, that looks further away. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, so when you look at these systems, look, you can see the yellow ones. But there's also pink ones, which we need a cadmium drive for. And there's, like, purpley ones. And there's also green ones. I don't know if we'll find a green one. Well, the green one's a bit difficult to see. Oh, that's, that's a, like a rich place. Um, filter. Life form. Economy. No filter. Right, okay. But yeah, there's also green ones as well. There you go, Emerald Drive. But to me, they look... See, that's another one right next to it. To, at a distance, to me, they look exactly the same colour. <laughs> obviously, they're like... But they've got no information about them. They're like undiscovered places. Sometimes sometimes there'll be like civilization there, but sometimes there won't. So, we need to get out of this... We need to get the Nexus in. We need to actually purchase the, uh, the warp drives so we can go to these places. It will soon tell us though, because if we if if we get the first drive and we actually need like something we can't get to craft it, then you know, no, I don't know if I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes, guys, you just got you know, just pay attention, just listen. Pay attention. I don't know how, how I can say it. No, if we get like... If we get the first drive, um, we need cadmium to make it, then I know I can get my hands on it without actually having to do the whole warp to a different system job. But it looks like the resources are going to get rarer the further in we go in this atlas path. Which, you know, which they should. Because, um... 
obviously it's just making it a bit more difficult instead of just warp 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 um where's the ship majig here he is so yeah so here we go so we just need chromatic metal and a wire to free wire and looms so we can get that and we may as well get the other ones while we're here. Emergency one. What? So emerald is after that. And then it's the in indium one. And how it works, guys, like they go in stages. So look, I'll show you. So say we were going to make... Oh, whoops, wrong one. Say we were going to make this, we need chromatic metal wiring loom. To make this, we need cadmium, which we can only get from one of these systems. And then to make this, we need emerald, which we can only get from that system. So you have to sort of do it in stages. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we just need to buy some wiring looms. I'm surprised I haven't got loads on me still. But yeah, we'll sort that out next time, guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on episode 4.